Hello HP Touchpad users, this is Reverend Kyle, your Minister of Mobile Devices, with a video here to answer a very big question I've been receiving over the last couple uh, days. Uh, what theme are you using? Uh, apparently some of you uh, got wind of the uh, previous videos that I've done and have uh, been rather curious as to how I got my setup looking the way it does. Um, I have my uh, honeycomb themed buttons. I, I have a, a very uh, unique wallpaper here and uh, a couple fun widgets. And so I'm going to go over that with you right now. First thing I'm going to tell you is I do own the ADW launcher uh, EX full version. I have purchased that. Now the only thing that that's giving me here of significant nature to this setup is the fun little background uh, for each of the icons. If you get the freebie version, I believe you're limited to um, whatever backgrounds they offer you. So that's something you may want to play with. Uh, ADW Launcher EX uh, full version, uh, definitely worth the purchase in my opinion. Uh, let's take a look at a couple of the um, uh, major items here. Like I said before, I do have the honeycomb style buttons there and uh, that actually comes and of course the uh, the um, clock and the battery and the uh, Wi-Fi. Uh, that's all coming from something that's built into this already called Theme Chooser. Now if you go into Theme Chooser you'll notice that there will be a couple pre pre-installed themes that you can go and play with and that's fine uh, what I have done is gone out of my way to download one and it's called Honeycomb 3D SB uh, it is available out on the market and we'll go take a look at that now together so this is what it is uh, you would basically install this on top of the uh, normal build and then you can go into the theme chooser and choose it and that will give you uh, the buttons and the battery and uh, status and all of that uh, that's that's how I got mine like that in terms of the clock uh, and in weather uh, widget here that I have I'm gonna go in and show you a couple of the widgets that I have this one in particular is called honeycomb digital weather clock uh, maybe an unintentional misspelling here. In here are some uh, settings uh, such as enable honeycomb font. Um, let's see here, what else did I do? I did enable weather and um, I'm American so I want to do it correctly. I'm using Fahrenheit and I can set my weather location, the frequency, and then I press OK. I uh, did not set a weather location. OK, well let's go in and do that here. And we are in Cincinnati, Ohio, right there, and save, and OK. Ask me how big I want it to be, 4 by 2 is fine. Oh, look at that, an identical widget. So that's where I got my clock widget from. Now these here are from an app called Pulse, and if you're not familiar with Pulse, it's a heck of an app. Let me show this to you here. Pulse is the ability to read all of those news sites that we go to on a regular basis all in one quick uh, stop. It's, it's, it's very handy. Uh, I have some normal things on here, things that come default, and then I have the ones that I've added, such as Gizmodo, Slash Gear, things like that. What I like about this is the quick view of seeing a little picture, a little nugget of information, and then I can scroll this way, and I can scroll up through all of the different ones, and basically uh, just a really handy way for me to get as much information as I can all at one time. Now, the actual widgets themselves uh, come in two flavors, and we'll go over here and we'll add one. I'll just add it right here, widget. And we'll go find pulse. And we'll do a small one. 
and choose a source. We'll just do life hacker. That's a good one. And save. How big do I want it? There it is. And I can move it over here if I'd like. Now let's do a big one as well. Widgets. Uh, you'll probably look at all the other widgets that I have here and want to know what they are. And honestly, all you have to do is go out and download the widget. It's free and play with it. Uh, I have seen many uh, a uh, setup and I was curious as to how to get mine to look like that. And honestly, go play. Uh, that's what the market is there for and that's why they're free. Here's a full size, uh, a larger one and they line up very nicely and that will give you that. Uh, what else do I have here? I'm playing around with one of the text-to-speech items that's out there. Uh, speak to it. i um, not going to get into that right now. Uh, the whole Siri thing. When something comes out that I find is uh, valuable, I'll definitely share it with you all. Okay, so what else do we have here? Uh, I'm going to leave the uh, background for last, the live wallpaper. Uh, these are two um, social networking sites, Facebook and Twitter, that are, um, well, <laughs> big. And uh, what you're going to want to do here is find a widget that will give you this capability. So what I've done is I've actually gone out, and let me trash a couple of these so I can reestablish this. Oh, no, see, I don't want to talk to her because she's not working too well okay so let's put something here and we'll move you over there all right we've got plenty of room let's go into widgets these are from Android Pro widgets lots of fun stuff in here uh, you've got Facebook uh, APW uh, people um, APW standing for advanced pro widgets uh, bookmarks calendar Facebook messaging uh, say what I don't know what that is uh, and then Twitter and we'll just add a uh, another Twitter here I'll do a four by three okay and then I can go in here and I can configure it now I can make this bigger or narrower or however I need to do it uh, to make it fit and that's uh, basically what I have over here is I've added a Twitter and a Facebook and it's very handy easy way for me to get to all of my peeps all at one time now Let's see what else I have that maybe you uh, haven't taken a look at yet. In terms of widgets, um, you know, lots of different clocks, uh, fancy widgets, uh, some calendar stuff in there. Uh, Plume, another Twitter client uh, that I am a big fan of. Um, let's see here, what else do we have? I guess that's about it. So I guess that's, um, I'll just get rid of this here. And I'll get rid of this here and this. And, uh, gee, I, I guess, I mean, unless you got, well, I guess I'll tell you about the background. This is a live wallpaper. And I guess I'm going to have to turn this bad boy sideways here. All right. This is called My Water. And if you notice, it says ASUS default live wallpaper. This was stolen, um, ripped, I guess I should say, from the ASUS uh, Transformer, I believe it was, along with some other items. It's very neat. Uh, it fills up as you move it around. It's just really, really fun to play with. Uh, I'm going to put a... And you'll notice that it refills back up here. I actually got this from droidlife.com. Uh, I will post a link to it in my uh, description of my video. Uh, it's just, it's a lot of fun to play with. So uh, live wallpapers work really well on this build. And I guess I can get rid of this as well. Goodbye. All right. Uh, so... Obviously, uh, this is a video in response to some of the uh, questions I've been asked. Uh, I, I ask for your patience uh, with some of the responses. 
I, I don't mind doing these. As a matter of fact, I, I enjoy being able to help all of you, uh, especially with things like uh, tweaking and making it look pretty so you can impress your friends because, honestly, <laughs> that's why I do it. Um, but please be patient with me. I'll do these as much as I can. So uh, this is uh, Reverend Kyle, and uh, hopefully you'll be able to tweak yours like I have mine.